Äh, Bürgermeisterhaus. Äh. Großes Schwein. That's up, Fox. Halt. It's a hideous pig. Okay. Hallo. Hello. Hey, look. If you've come here on behalf of Vigo to see if I've already dispatched this chest as he ordered me, tell him. All right. I'm part of the Demonic Trade Union. I know my rights, and according to the Demonic Trade Act, Article 23, I can take all the time I want to perform a task. Right. And even if in the Part B he is allowed to send a third party to tell me please hurry up, in Part C, it's stated clearly that I'm allowed to reply, hey, this thing is taking more time than I expected. So hey, this thing is taking more time than I expected. All right. Okay. Me? I'm Mark Piglinton, but everybody calls me Mr. Piglinton, proud member of the Demonic Trade Union. I am a licensed crew member specialized in high mask logistics operations. Oi. What? I move heavy things. Oh. Uh. You're a new recruit, right? Oi. I don't remember seeing your face. Yes, I'm the new guy. I'm an operator specialized in the delivery of messages, news, notification announcements, and other pieces of valuable information relevant to our organization. What? I'm the errand boy. Oh. Ich weiß gar nicht, warum er äh, hin und wieder die Dialoge skippt. Ich mache keinen Doppelklick. Ähm, hat Vigo dir äh, aufgetragen, diese Truhe zu entsorgen? Did Vigo tell you to dispatch that chest? According to the directives I received, it should be dropped by the river to sink. Oh. Mm, he told me not to drop it there yet, but he may come up with a better idea soon. That would infer a delay on a planned activity. Oink. According to the Demonic Trade Act, Article 83, I could demand the delay to cease and start working on said planned activity immediately. A thing that I will not do. If the management needs to momentarily stop this operation, I understand it and I support it. Oink. You are so generous. Oh, also äh, ich soll dir vom Boss ausrichten, dass du die Truhe in die offene Gruft zum Friedhof werfen sollst. Oh, well, the boss just told me that he wants you to drop it in the open crypt in the graveyard. But don't enter the crypt. Just drop it by the entrance ladder. Some of the steps on the ladder are broken and we don't want you to get injured. May the gods protect us from what the demonic trade act demands we do if you get injured. What? That's not only a change of plans, but a further distance to carry that thing. Or, according to the Demonic Trade Act, Article 84, in the case of an unexpected change of plans of a previous planned activity, the union member can strike until their demands are met. So, I'm on strike until my demands are met. Or, what? Sorry, you heard me. I'm on strike. I don't move that chest until my demands are met. What are your demands exactly? I demand a camel lid sandwich a decaffeinated digestive, and a good sweet dessert. What kind of demands are those? I have no idea. <laughs> I remember them from a union brochure they sent us monthly, in case we need to strike and we run out of ideas for demands. It's very useful. Wow, das sind ja echt ein paar Profi-Dämonen. What does the demonic trade union do? The Demon Trade Union is an inclusive coalition of minions, imps, and lesser evils that are employed by a main villain or villainous corporation. We seek to improve the conditions of every hard-working member of the society. It sounds pretty great. Yes. In fact, thanks to the Demonic Trade Union that lobbied along the right-wing fairy coalition, we receive a subsidy on the price we pay for magic dust. Of course, now the gnomes have to pay twice the price they used to pay, but screw them! They should have supported us when we tried to pass the Ban All Holly Damage Weapons Act. Okay. Um... Okay. Wanna lift that golden goblet over there? It won't turn you in... What? Or nothing, just forget it. Ja, das... Gut, wäre auch lustig gewesen, wenn es ein Re Reverse gemacht hätte, wenn er dann wieder zum Menschen oder was auch immer geworden wäre. Kann ich der Dämonen... Can I join the Demonic Trade Union? Of course you can. 
passport. Right. Nice. We have some minor requirements, though. You have to go to the main office to do the usual paperwork, they check your background, and of course you have to be a legal citizen of the Fifth Health. Your blood type should be A++. You have to donate 75% of your salary to the Demonic Trade Union for a minimum of three eternities. You have to sacrifice your firstborn to Lord Zordak uh... to destroy our galaxies. And lastly, <laughs> you should not be in any way, shape, or form associated with those goddamn Christmas elves. Those miserable Santa zealots were stealing our jobs lately, so we are currently at war with them. <laughs> ah, jeez, I'm not sure what my blood type is. I know that Lord Zordak thing might sound a bit harsh at first, but thanks to him, we got an awesome dental plan. Believe me, I regret nothing. <laughs> you should think about it. <lacht> Bin ich Tom Cruise oder was? Alter. Oh, dieses Spiel. Fucking, I love it. Ja, ich habe neue Befehle von Virgo. Vigo sent me some new orders for you. You should dismantle the gates of Darkestville Castle. Sorry, according to the Demonic Trade Act, Article 4, I'm only assigned to one specific activity. And that activity is moving stuff around. You should contact the dismantling department to do that. Sadly, the guys from the dismantling department were dismantled. They exploded after they tried to dismantle a bomb. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I have nothing to do. I have other matters to attend to. See ya. Yeah, ciao. Bit foul. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Äh, Epic Lama Team. Okay, nice. Bürgermeister von Darkestville. It's the mayor of Darkestville. As you can see, he clearly doesn't look at all like he's depicted on the paintings. And I'm not even sure if he really hunts at all. Huh. Tuck. Mr. Mayor, you should call the military right now. Demons have overtaken the city. What? Demons? Oh, I see. Again with those silly pranks, Sid. How many times have we talked about this? You should stop doing these kinds of practical j jokes. No, this is not a practical joke, it's the truth. Just peek through the door. There are demons everywhere. Nice try. Sorry, Sid. Your tricks are getting old. I'm sure that if I pop up my head over there, I'd receive a pie in my face or something like that. I won't fall for it. <sighs> not exploit my curiosity. Oh, man. Glauben Sie mir noch, Dämonen haben Ihre Stadt eingenommen. Believe me, demons have taken the city. Sorry, but I will not fall for that. I know you're trying to play a prank on me. You know, for being a mayor, you're pretty incompetent. I still can't believe I lost the mayoral election against you. That was because I come from a long lineage of mayors. Your slogan was terrible, and almost all your campaign proposals involved setting the town on fire. Well then, tell me a better way to stop the issues we have with the streetlights. <laughs> so your tax refund policy was obviously non-viable. And according to the polls, most conservative citizens didn't like your plan of building a giant monolith to wake up the deep sea abominations to ask for assistance with the town sewer problems. Now I know why I lost. You were pandering to the polls the whole time. Rufen Sie das Militär sofort! You should call the military and quick. No, sorry, I'm not going to fall into one of your tricks. Come on, just call them. There are demons outside, they're taking the town. The only demon in this town is in front of me, insisting on a bad pun. You should stop doing that. You know the story of the boy who cried wolf? Yes, it's the story of a boy who cried wolf to his grandfather, who immediately died from a heart attack. And then the boy becomes a millionaire due to his grandfather's inheritance. That's not the story of the boy who cried wolf. I know, but mine's much better. <laughs> Do you have any emergency plans in case of an invasion? Of course! How do you think we got rid of the undead so quick last time you revived them? But right now, we're under no invasion, so stop insisting with your puns. I know that in the past I've done terrible things like flooding the marketplace or shooting all the people with names starting with the letter E. But right now I'm trying to help. You have to believe me, there are demons taking over this town. We have to stop them. Sorry, Sid. As you stated, you have a reputation, and I don't believe you. 
I know you're a prankster. Ach ja, ach ja. Look, I can demonstrate to you that this town is being invaded by demons. You can try, but I will not peek through that d door. I know you will throw a pie at my face or something like that. But the demons are everywhere. Look! Hey, demons! Are you taking over the town? Yes! Of course! No, we are not. <laughs> hey, one of them says that they're not. Who said that? It wasn't me! Sorry, I was confused. You see? <laughs> they're invading the town. That only proves that you hired a group of people to yell things in order to trick me. And some of them even forgot the script. Oh, come on, what's wrong with you? Sorry, but I'm not gonna fall for your tricks. I have learned from my mistakes, I've grown, and I'm taking one of these once a day. What is that? Anti-gullibility pills. You'd have to be very gullible to buy that kind of stuff. I, I, I know, but I didn't realize it after they started taking effect. Retardo tabletten. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Demons have set the town on fire. Do something. The town is not on fire. Why is everyone insisting on puns today? The town is on fire. Demons are pillaging the town. Your wife is having an affair with the mailman. <laughs> Your wife is having an affair with the mailman? Of course she's not. Well, that would explain why your kids are so tall. Oh, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I have matters <clears throat> to attend to. G goodbye, Sid. Can I take them? It reads, Anti-Gullibility Pills. Stop being easily tricked or manipulated into an ill-advised course of action. Warning. Side effects may include dizziness, drowsiness, lack of credulity, and irony. Who can fall for this scam? It even expired two months ago. Can you name? May I take some of these? I've been feeling gullible lately. You don't have any idea why you want them, do you? Nope, but I want them. Well, if that makes you happy, take it. I have more flasks like that at home. Wait, how many of these did you buy? They definitely sold me more than I needed, but of course you don't realize it until you start to take them. Jeez, so gullible. Uh, yeah. It looks like the mayor is redacting a new decree. And with this, I explicitly forbid the creation of any kind of temporal paradox, time paradox, or time travel paradox. Damn, another restriction. I hate when the government interferes with the private sector. Das finde ich ja nicht gut. The mayor is still working on that. Na gut. It's the mayor's pencil holder. I can't steal it. It has the name of the mayor on it. Gut. Ach, ich sehe jetzt ja Lamakop. <lacht> llamas are so awesome. Everyone loves llamas. Too bad the taxidermy in this one is terrible with that tongue sticking out. It looks really stupid. Dezent. I can't talk to that. Ach komm, red mit dem Lama. Let me think about it. Nope, clearly it wouldn't fit in my pocket. Ach, aber äh, ein anti naiv tabletten hotdog karte kleiner Timmy, eine Tröte, Pilzdünger, Papierschiff, Schuppen, Knochen und alles. Das passt in deine Tasche, ist klasse. Das Siggi. Porträt des Bürgermeisters. Okay, man muss schon sagen, das sieht schon ziemlich geil aus. Sadly, this is not the most biased portrait I have ever seen. Aber es sieht geil aus, muss man sagen. If I steal this, I'll be doing the mayor a favor. And I'm the bad guy. So let's leave this horrible painting where it is right now. Okay. Großes Diplom. This diploma certifies that the mayor of Darkestville has attended and finished the seminar titled Misrepresentation of Quantum Physics Mixed with Superstitious Quackery with Honorable Merits. Okay. This diploma certifies that the mayor of Darkestville has completed the seminar titled Aliens. They don't exist and there is no conspiracy to worry about. Dictated by Dr. Zolmak Rabgala from the Third Moon of Venus. Okay, und das hier? This diploma certifies that the mayor of Darkestville has a doctorate on invisible creatures and where not to find them. Okay, Bücher. The mayor has a lot of boring political books. Just look at the titles. How to fight poverty in rural areas and other fairy tales. 
Kann ich dafür ein paar mitnehmen? I don't want those books. They look pretty boring. Okay. Kleine Pokale. There is a spider on the trophies. Okay. Stempel des Bürgermeisters. It's the mayor's stamp. I have a duplicate of it somewhere at home. Okay, so trotzdem mitnehmen. I don't think the mayor is going to allow me to take it. Gut, dann nicht. Dodo Cop. Uh, the taxidermy work on this one is pretty good, but why would anyone have a dodo head on their wall? Nimm mit. I don't want to redecorate the mayor's office. Ah, gut. Tintenfass. The mayor must really stamp a lot of stuff daily if he needs that big barrel of purple ink. I can't even move this. Fine. Hab ich hier noch irgendwas übersehen? Lam oh, Lama Zunge. The taxidermy work on this llama is really disappointing. Look at that tongue sticking out. Zunge mitnehmen? Um, it was like this when I arrived. Oh, meine Zunge, oh, meine Zunge. This chair looks awesome. I should steal it someday. Someday, someday, Lama Zunge. Okay. Oh, Rucksack mitnehmen. There's nothing useful left. Ah, ja, kurz das Wort mitnehmen. Ähm, um, ja, yeah, okay. Hmm. Hauptplatz zur Gasse. Ah, nein, warte mal, warte mal. Zum Schloss. Da. Hotterkarte. Die wollen ja good stuff. Hey, look. I bet you'll find all the diseases you're looking for here. Oh, this is good. This place seems to have quality good stuff. Just look at this photo. You can almost see the diphtheria oozing from that meat. And that sauce looks like it's made out of pure botulism. The gut stuff. What are we waiting for? Let's get going, bros. Okay, das will ich mir jetzt angucken. Oh, Brötchen. It's a hot dog bun that fell to the ground. Mitnehmen. Jeff, Jesse, Steve. Key. Okay. Hi, Pedro. I Aquachio. Ah, Sprich. Hey. Sid. Thanks. I never believed you could find such great customers. They bought a lot of hot dogs, right? Yes. In fact, I've run out of marinara sauce again. And bread. I've sold everything. Cool. Hey, if you don't have any more hot dogs, what happened to my reward? Don't worry, I still have something for you. Ta-da! Uh, sausage? It's the only thing I've got left right now. A lot of old, I mean a lot of fine sausage. <laughs> what about money? Look, I'll give you all the sausages you want, okay? Then give me more than just one. Hey, don't be a glutton one at a time. I'll give you another one when you finish eating that one. Okay, it could be worse. Now I have unlimited sausages. Das ist auch schon mal etwas. Okay. I have other matters. Goodbye and good luck. Surpassing my expectations, he somehow looks more stupid than he was before. Mental note, never eat a hot dog again. Okay. He definitely doesn't look healthy. He can't even focus his eyes. He is out of this world. Kann noch mit den reden? Hi guys. Did you try this? It's awesome. Yeah, man, you're huge now. I'm getting smaller, dude. I'm getting smaller. <laughs> Look at your face, dude. You look all happy with a big smile. You're awesome, dude. But... But his face is getting bigger. You know what? I should become a doctor. <laughs> Following a conversation with them would be impossible as they are right now. Yep, deswegen... Weg. Oops.